Hi everyone, we are back with pharmacology for nurses, especially pharmacology for the new nurse. If you are the new nurse who has a patient scheduled for surgery, typically what happens, the doctor writes orders prior to surgery that you follow as a preparation for surgery. Here I've tried to give you a sample of what you would expect to find. NPO for surgery. In the case of Jim having a surgical intervention for rectal cancer, he's going to have a colostomy the next day. The doctor ordered NPO. He ordered IV fluids. Hold his uh, insulin the night before and only give five units if the blood sugar was over 200. Um, also, he had something ordered for if he could not sleep, lorazepam and his lab values. As you can see here, Jim is now in uh, the pre-op area and the anesthetist is going over everything with the nurse to make sure the orders were carried out correctly. Let's talk about after Jim has had surgery, what could possibly go wrong. Well, paralytic ileus is one of the problems that can happen, one of the complications of the surgical patient. This is not Jim, but this is yet another patient, Alice who had surgery three days ago and calls the nurse because she's having terrible abdominal discomfort. Here is a patient over in the left hand corner crying and saying my stomach really hurts, it feels like a brick. Why? Because patients who've had surgery, may, there may be complications due to post um, abdominal surgery, you get problems of this nature. Patients who've had narcotics and anesthesia itself some of the drugs used may very readily slow the bowel down, resulting in an ileus. So, in the case of this patient having abdominal discomfort, it would be necessary to do an assessment and check the abdomen because some of the symptoms displayed would be abdominal pain and distension, um, absent bowel sounds, nausea and vomiting. If it is the case, the nurse has the responsibility to assess, document and notify the doctor. And of course, you follow your institution's policies and procedures and doctor's orders, so the doctor let you know what he wants you to do. I brought up common routes of administration. Medications are administered to all different routes. Could be orally, which is by mouth, topically, which is absorbed through the skin. It can be done intramuscularly, which means that it's given into the deep muscle. It can be given subcutaneously, which is given into the fatty tissue drugs like insulin and heparin. It can be given suppository, which is parectum. It can be given um, sublingually under the tongue. And it's drugs like nitroglycerin for chest pain is given under the tongue or sprayed into the mouth. Inhalation, you know, when you, uh, certain medications used or uh, bronchodilators and of course it can be given intravenously either directly or through a piggyback typically the IV tubing has ports that you use for this purpose also always remember to follow your